we would be without our limiting thoughts? Is it close to a meditative state? Yes. It's really beyond meditation. We meditate on, for example, an assumption that we're thinking and believing with, is it true? And when we when we begin to move to who or what would I be without that assumption, which is where you were directing me, I, I think, just to, just to meditate on that question, we see that it's like we, we, we experience our true nature in that moment without past future and we have this amazing experience in the as we we experience <laughs> prior to thought yes. and emptiness and the only way we can say that is to speak about the past. That moment, <laughs> that moment, where we can only speak of the past when we point to that moment. We can only speak to the past. So there is a joy in that because we're authentically coming out of that experience. And that authenticity keeps us in, in the experience. It's that reference point that we are always in touch with. No matter what we're thinking and believing, that that remains. So anything we appear to be thinking and believing can cost us that awareness. And that's why I invite the world to inquiry. Thank you for, this ans for your answer and for this inquiry. Does the work to see the identification to a body and to the person that we generally believe ourselves to be. Yes. And if that's the case, what practice do you suggest we do? Well, of course, I suggest, in response to your question, the work, inquiry. For example, that third question, how do you react? What happens when you believe, for example, something terrible is going to happen? Let's say something's going to happen to my child. So how do I react? What happens when I think that thought? Something terrible is going to happen to my child. Then I begin, in, as I meditate on how do I react when I believe the thought, just close your eyes and get still in that situation where you're worried. And you begin to notice these images of past, future. So past, you see your child and future in that moment you're seeing your child maybe he borrowed the car and he's reckless and I think something terrible is going to happen and I see images maybe of him in sick or or in he's in a terrible car crash or I see him dying or dead calling for me his mother so meditating 
beyond that situation, I see these images of past, future, past, future, and I see that I, I believe me to be in those images and experience that false I of imagination. Okay. For example, I see, I see having tea this morning. I see me sitting at the kitchen table with a cup of tea. But that is an image in my head of the past. That is not I. That is not I. So that would would leave me in the misperception of I exist other than this unidentified moment. Mm -hmm. So so who am I? Not that, not that, not this, 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 this past, not this, 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 this future, not I, not I, present. To be awake to who I am not is to be awake. It's like the unborn, born, unborn. <laughs> so, and at the same time, any practice that one would come across that would show them this is a beautiful thing. To just meditate on just now, not this, not this, is to, um, is to awake to the answer, who am I? And who am I not?